Just the one triumph at Old Trafford in the last 33 years. That came courtesy of a Gabby Abondahall goal in December of 2009. Villa looking to end a nightmare run of eight straight defeats. Manchester United four points behind rival City, who occupy the fourth Champions League spot. Relegation will be confirmed before kick-off if Norwich avoid defeat against Sunderland in the lunchtime game. A stay of execution last weekend. In all likelihood, the fate will be sealed at some point during the afternoon. Well, Froggy, the toughest of circumstances, but let's hope for a performance at least. We've been saying that for a few weeks now, haven't we, Joe? <laughs> yeah. Any performance we'll be, we'll be grateful for uh, at this time. You fear for us again though, Jack, because we're playing against a Man United side that have got themselves into a, an FA Cup semi-final against the odds, I guess, because they went to the bowling ground and put in a fantastic performance to beat West Ham. And they've now found this new group of kids that are pacey, hungry, sharp, look the real deal in terms of Rashford, Martial and, and Jesse Lingard. And it could be a very tough, tough time. I mean, defensively, we are, we've struggled the whole season and we're coming up against a very much in-form attack. And you've been hugely impressed with Rashford and Martial. They've yeah. set the Premier League alight at times this season, haven't yeah. they, two of those? The word pace is something that, when I look at great teams, they've always had. The mm. Arsenal team, when he was winning, they had the likes of Overmars and Henri. United, when they were in the pomp, they, you know, they had Kanchelskis and Giggs. Mm. Pace frightens defenders to death. Really does. And now they've got an abundance of it. Something that they've not had at the start of the season, they were very one-dimensional Man United. Yeah. The midfield players were all cumbersome, the defen defence as well, pretty much the same. And the strikers were in Wayne Rooney. I mean, Wayne, Wayne's lost all of his pace now. Mm. He really should be playing in a more withdrawn role because he can't get behind a player now. So if you're a Michael Carrick who likes looking in behind, he's now, now he's, got, he's got the red arrows in front of him because mm -hmm. there's people making runs left, right and centre. Now, if you've got the quality that they're having, the likes of Schneidlin and, and Carrick in the middle, who can pick a pass and you've got those men running behind, all of a sudden you're looking at a different Man United and an entirely different threat. And Villa won't be going to Old Trafford next season unless they get a cut draw there. And you've got to look at it and think, well, we want a piece of this, the campaign after next. That's the motivation to come back. And the away fans are bound to be fantastic, as they have been all season long. You, you just feel for them and, and feel for everyone. Well, the away fans have suffered all season, mm. haven't they? And, you know, they've been brilliant all the way throughout, you have to say, Jack, with what, what they've had to go yeah. through. Um, but going to Man United, it's a great day. As a player, I loved it to go up there, you know, to play at Old Trafford in front of 70 odd thousand people. Just the magnitude of the stadium. Yeah, you just you, you know you're going somewhere special. You yeah. know you're going to a big institution. You know it's a proper game, and you know you're going to be in for a very difficult game, no matter what Man United side you play. They don't have that aura about them at the moment that they had no. under Alex Ferguson, but they, they, you know, at the moment the way they can perform at their best, and they can be a bit flaky at times, Man United. You know that they are a, a decent team who are desperately still trying to find this Champions League place. So it's going to be an enormously tough game for us, Jack. It's on the cards and it has been for a while. It's not going to make yeah. it any easier once it's actually settled, which, which you know it's likely to be on Saturday. It's like watching Watership Down, isn't it? You know, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's like one of those sad sad films we're yeah. watching in front of our very eyes, where we know we've been relegated, Jack. Really, for the last few weeks. In all honesty, we've all known. But it's yeah. not been confirmed. Mm. So it, it's, an, it's about to be confirmed. And I think there's every chance this weekend it actually could happen, Jack. Well, we're naturally positive people. So let's hope we can uh, build for the future uh, from this well, weekend. Well, I mean, on. you know, at the end yeah. of the day, we, we, everyone knows we, 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 we're going to be playing championship football next mm. year. Now it's down to everybody behind the scenes at the club to try and rebuild this great club and put it back certainly where it belongs in my eyes. Okay, Froggy, thanks very much indeed. Much more analysis over on AVTV HD. Ken McNaught back alongside me for live commentary on Saturday. Make sure you join us.